to start us, let's play pickleball. But I, I would agree with you, Dave, that Pablo is the most important because he has the most volatility in his game, and he is the player that can give the Johns brothers the most trouble when he is on. Yeah, there's some trouble right there with just the loosest wrist on that one-handed roll from Pablo Tejas. Lots of life. Yeah, if CJ's hitting left-handed shots, that's good news. Offense from Federico Staxrud, too, as ball back over, no damage done. Zero, zero, one. Oh, the poke just wide, and if it looks like mirror images, it is. Fed studied Ben, did he not? Well, he did, and, and he's modeled his game after him nicely. Wait, I'm fed. I use that shortcut volley to perfection. Well, yeah, well, you said mirror images, so, <laughs> so, so here we are. Fed, you uh, might want to not do that again, says CJ. Well, I mean, he, he hooked it into the body, and the, <laughs> the Colin Johns counter was very ready, and he put it to the middle of the court. by Federico Staxrud, and this could end up being a pretty grindy match. Get yes. where mid-afternoon, sun is shining, ball is soft. Oh, nice little quick firefight exchange, and Colin Johns with that one-handed counter. Uh, a year or two ago, he was countering much more with two. Yeah. Now he takes that second hand off and just thuds it. I mean, if they're gonna be mirror images, they both have to miss. Well, that's right. Ben did the same thing uh, two points ago. The dink errors are going to come, but the return errors are, are something that you have to keep clean. Yikes, two in a row. It's tagged, and uh, this is as John's a start as you'll ever see. Yeah, and, and Pablo stepping to his right, looking for a forehand, I actually think is something he needs to do in this match. Left that dink high, though. Right two now for Ben, as uh, I think that, as I mentioned, that Tejas forehand is the shot that is the toughest for Ben to read. That's a, that's a perfect spot. They're going at the left shoulder, and that's exactly what I mentioned about having the left-hander in front of you. You have to change your targets, and Ben does. Picks 
the wrong target and bails himself out. So just uh, shocking that, that he went right to the counter that Pablo Tellez was looking for and still has the hands of gold. Six, zero, one. Ben throws up the warning to his brother whenever one's traveling a little bit, just give CJ maybe that tenth of a second. He was ready. That's all he needed. Just short hop, throw two, it back. Two, two short hops in a row. It was a great return. It was a great first volley or, or, or fourth shot. Younger brother are bringing it. Wide open, Dink travels too far. And the other thing that is very dangerous here is I see no energy from Pablo and Fed from the energy team. Pretty decent first uh, counter by Ben Johns with two hands, but Pablo ready. <laughs> Colin says sorry to Ben as he just lays up a cookie. Not that he didn't hit it hard, but right in the strike zone of Federico Staxford. Tat and then awesome. didn't even consider hitting that last ball, just slides the head out of the way, several feet long. Goodness gracious, even CJ looks at the heavens like, how from where that ball was can that go past Pablo's shoulder and stay in? Wow, wow. Yeah, and, uh, crazy reaction from Federico Staxer, too, who thought he hit a phenomenal dink. And unfortunately for him, I think he did hit a phenomenal it dink. It did. And it just didn't matter. I mean, we have pickle point in a final right here. About sums up. The official ball of the PPA Tour. That's a, that's a good look, and he got a solid paddle on it, catches the tape. 
tough to Ernie Downey soft, but I, I like what I like what Fed did there to look for something. Pretty shot gets the behind the back clap from Ben Johns. What a ball just right on the line with a little curve. Zero one, what? <laughs> Saw it coming. Yeah, it is a great read and break to the middle of the court from Tejas. Just too much firepower from Ben Johns as that ball bounced and sat up nicely into Zero a strike one, zone. wide for Ben can't believe he missed it and they're on the board and the crowd is giving them just a little extra applause. Long grind and the Johns brothers are happy to stay there until it takes you a miss or a bad swing. Indeed. Yeah, great call from Colin almost as soon as Pablo contacts that ball, letting Ben know. Stab from Pablo. Pablo, excuse me. Yeah, no, and a good stab. As Ben looked for the one-handed roll into the two-handed backhand. Okay. There's a C, and there's a nice lefty forehand up the middle. And a little something, a little energy, a little pep in the step, which was much needed. Coming in hot and crushes that ball, and Ben just just swatting flies up there with that one-handed backhand. Yep, it's almost mosquito season. Get him out of here. from CJ and he got away with it. Yeah, Ben Ben was not in a good position to counter that ball. They just make you do stuff because we're like, we got this ball a second ago and they threw it back at us. Yeah, it was good offense from Federico Staxrud and neutralized by Ben and, and Pablo was just like, let's keep our foot on the gas and went with an ambitious pull.
Yes. Oh. Yeah, the yeah all day from Federico Staxer. This is what, I, I mean, I don't care about the scoreboard, which of course is important as we move forward, but that's the energy I wanted to see from them. All right, there we go. Let's get something going here from the South American fellas. you guys have some momentum, just a little bit of it and some good energy. Let's dink 56 shots and we'll suck that right out of you. And then you'll pull a bad trigger and I'll get out of the way. Next, please. Next, please. Calm in the midcourt on the blocks and calm when it clips the tape and sits up shoulder high, slapping it cross court. And uh, yeah, just, just really a clinic right now from the Johns brothers. And to note, Dave, we're moving into, into clay court season with that tennis yes. reference. <laughs> it, the ball is hot. We're into the summer months. It was grass court season a couple months ago with, with cooler conditions. This plays right into the Johns brothers. body and destroys it and they're like whenever you'd like to attack by all means 4-1 Johns here they've won 15 of 16 points CJ slides one down the line and that little hint of energy and momentum completely gone. Yeah, there's even been a couple times, I know uh, Colin just attacked that Colin had an opportunity, but they're winning 82% of the neutral dink rally, so why take any risks whatsoever? brings the attack back through the body of Fed, who was like, wait, you're supposed to hit it down the line like you did before. And, and. Oh. <laughs> Miss, yeah, CJ actually played with uh, Regina, Johnny's wife, uh, and mixed and played against Ben and Etta on their way to the title. I 
mean, Pablo's like, I've attacked everywhere and nothing has worked. Yeah, all the spots, uh, pretty much zero success. I think this is, I hate to say it might be the point where you just aim for the net tape and hope you get a few let cords and rattle call in John's because <laughs> nothing else is working right now. ATP and it's just jarring watching how easy they get to the kitchen every time too. No hurry. Like we talk about all these other teams that can't make it to the kitchen. It's just routine. That's too good with the two-hander now as well. I mean, are you kidding me? 21 to 1 with a game point on CJ's paddle. Even now, as I mentioned with the soft ball, the only time you can really get Ben is going kind of hard at the shoulder area. And that's even harder to do with the conditions that are out there right now. That's pretty from Fed. So on both sides, they've had a beautiful two in the backhand down the line. See if that can carry over as CJ is late and that is pretty. Yeah, just wait till we get to our third stop in Texas. The Texas Open up in Dallas in June. You think you think it's clay? That's going to be wet red clay. How slow that'll be. <laughs> I think Fred was maybe thinking that was game, but. Now it's game point. Game point. Thank you, what? And that point. is game wide point. and it. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit. Turning obstacles into stepping stones because the next level isn't just handed to you it's earned go next level with six zero pickleball right back where it came from and more energy than the entire match by far here. Whoopsie. We've all hit a head high dink <laughs> and that's what we saw there. But either way, it's a nice start. A, clearly the best start of the three games. And no one's home is Pablo slide into the middle again. And another uh, another mention of the conditions because they are just so important. Those low rolls from Ben can go in with this softer ball. Looks for another one of those low rolls on the backhand side. The percentages are still in his favor, but caught the tape on that one. Speaking of catching the tape right back from Pablo Tejas. He had it. Yeah, it clipped the tape and went a little bit long, but he had uh, the Johns brothers confused on that two-handed backhand off the bounce. We 
had an extended rally and a nice counter from Colin Johns, but the first point, or the first shot that he struck in that point was a short hop lefty midcourt into the kitchen. So that's kind of how it's going that for him right now. 100% how it's going. And then a wreck two in it backhand counter. Deceptive attacks from Ben Johns, no deception there. No. He is just targeting uh, the upper chest of his opponent, jamming up Federico Staxrud. And uh, that good start is gone, 6-2. Nice pressure from Pablo Tejas. Uh, Drew DeHannis all over Pablo, and this is not going to help. I think uh, Federico's shadow was in the way, but I think the tip touched. Well, I mean, maybe this could springboard more energy. It's going to go one yeah. way or yeah, the yeah, other right, from right. here. <laughs> right. I mean, it's going to go wildly one way or the other from here. And any other way than it's been going will be good for Fed and Pablo. to the two-handed backhand, and Pablo is actually in a good position to win this rally. SWAT team, 8-2. Yeah, double short hop, half volley resets, and then a crack on the third ball from Ben Johns. Yeah, you said wildly one way or the other. And, uh, I think we're getting a bad end of that, unfortunately. Two points from one of the biggest blowouts in Championship Sunday history. And we are at championship point. goes wide and that'll do it in the Johns brothers absolutely from the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal a new court beckons a new challenge arises Jack Sock has conquered tennis now pickleball's next mastery precision passion that's what champions are made of and when it comes to pickleball there's only one company they turn to Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. Men's doubles title in Ben John's career. Unbelievable achievement. We've got three Johns together. Take it away, Hannah. How about that record, boys? What a day for you guys. What a year and what a career together. Talk about today coming in. What did you want to do well against this team? You've seen them many times before. Yeah, they've come really close to beating us in similar conditions to this, so we came in really focused, uh, not taking it for granted. I mean, they've consistently been the third best team in the world over the past year, um, so the score line might not have been close, but it doesn't mean that we, uh, we let up at all. Um, I think we did a good job of keeping our focus because we know how quickly the match can turn, um, so I think that's what did it. 
Well, four straight weeks of back-to-back -back tournaments. Uh, we're in the middle of that. Obviously, it's tough, the grind on the Pro Tour. What are some tips to keeping y'all sanity as you're traveling around the country competing in Pro Pickleball? Well, you better really like pickleball, man. <laughs> uh, but I'm happy to say that uh, I, I really love it. I love playing. I love competing. Um, and, you know, maybe the travel can get a little bit wearing, but it's all part of the, the job. And um, I really appreciate it and uh, the, all the opportunities it's given us. So I, I guess just keeping your sanity is also keeping some perspective. Well, guys, uh, you formed something of a cult following for those Yola signature paddles that you have. I hear there's a pretty big release coming up next week. Anything you want to say about that before it comes out? Oh, yeah. The, the Gen 3 paddles, uh, much anticipated. They come out on Tuesday. Um, so definitely go get a Colin John Scorpius. You don't need to bother getting his. It's probably not very good. Um, but I hear it's decent. So if you don't really, really like the Scorpius, you can always do the Perseus. But be on the lookout for the Yola Gen 3. All right, guys. Congratulations on another title. We're going to bring Nate Pepper from title sponsor Violia on court one last time to present your trophy. Thanks, Anna. Hey, Ben Collin, congratulations on your win. I can't think of a better way to cap off the Viola Houston Open. Uh, it's been a great week here in Houston, and we just like, as the official sustainability sponsor, to, to thank all of the players, the officials, all of the fans here. It's been a great week. And on behalf of all 220,000 of us at Veolia, we are proud to present you both with the Veolia Cup. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Dave. If you want to know what the standard is in men's doubles, it's right there. The Colin and Ben Johns are winners again and are deserving to hold up that beautiful Veolia Cup. And folks, that puts a wrap on a wonderful trip for the first time down here to the Houston area for the Veolia. Beautiful tournament that we've had.